Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Got a new microphone here. Uh, wasn't even gonna go live today, honestly. But I decided, you know what? Let's try it out. You were here for the last stream that I did. Which did not get archived. Uh, something was getting a little fancy-dancy with my mic. I don't know what happened, but the, the era of the blue snowball is over. Uh, so I have moved on. Low mic. Oh, good. Here we go again. New mic makes me sound even more... Oh, great. All right. Well, we'll quiet the music for now. I think that might have been the, the main reason. Maybe uh, maybe boost the mic a little bit. Let's say plus, like, I don't know, 3 dB. That should be fine. Yeah, this is a new mic. Sure SM58. Uh, I did some testing before. I think it should be okay. Crispy voice. New mic is great. You good? Okay, well, uh, now we can hear you. Cut. Okay. All right, great. Everything seems to be good. Yeah, um... Something was up with my last mic, I don't know. The gain decided to go wild and, and weird. It was like fading in and out. So I decided to uh, I decided to buy a, a new mic. This is a Shure SM58, which uses like an XLR cable and a, a bunch of stuff. I wasn't even sure if this would work, so I, I sound spicy. Uh, sounding good. Um... Watch JoJo, Mr. Claw. Five dollars from Legend Girl 101. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. You know, that's a good way of testing my mic. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, got a new mic. Wanted to do a little bit of a test stream, test drive. Uh, that was some Castlevania music. That was uh, Jail of Jewel from uh, Portrait of Ruin. And... Um, yeah, I thought we would look at some uh, Gary Spivey today, or Spivey. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Spivey. Uh, this one might not be a terribly long stream. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how long we're gonna go. I mostly just wanted to test the mic after all, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it. Let's let's just get right into it, you know. And uh, yeah, here we go. Gary Spivey. I guess I should show you who this man's is, if you're not familiar. So, Gary Spivey is the guy in the thumbnail, of course. You are, you're probably familiar with him, I'm going to be honest. This is a well-known face that has stood the test of the internet. Let's get a look at him. That is Gary Spivey, or Spivey. And it can obviously be assumed that whatever that is on his head is not indeed uh, an actual hair uh, cut. It looks like a, it kind of looks like the the red foam thing I got for my mic, except uh, it, like in a white fashion, in a, in a white variety. Um, better than original voice acting. This is, this dude is epic. Loving the mic. SM58, getting Tad Donnelly vibes. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty interesting mic. This is like, Kind of like an industry standard mic that's been around for like since like the '60s or something. I don't know exactly how long, but it's been used on stage by a lot of like pretty well-known singers. Uh, so I decided, you know what? It's like a specifically vocal mic. I feel like this because I'm also going to be doing some singing stuff in the future. So apparently, apparently, USB mics are just completely out of the question when it comes to uh, to like actual high quality microphones. So I had to go XLR, but, uh, yeah, there's videos of the, of the sure SM 58 being fucking run over by trucks online. And apparently it's still fine. Anyhow though. Um, yeah, this is Gary Spivey. Uh, this is, uh, again, a well-known face across the internet. This man has been around for quite some time. Uh, there's many memes about Gary here. And, uh, I mean, as there rightfully should be, I mean, look at this man's, he, he knows what he's doing with the, uh, with the whole appearance thing. And, um, uh, yeah, I, for the longest time, I just assumed this was like a character from Tim and Eric or some shit, but no, this is a real man. Uh, and he's like at least semi-serious. So 
Yeah. Working in tech support, we can't use USB mics. Okay, ma'am, look at your keyboard. Okay. Um, so let's take a look again here at uh, Gary Spivey. We've got some interesting stuff. Here's the thing about Gary Spivey, okay? So, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games. It's all hoo-hoo, ha-ha, look at the funny man with the funny hair, or whatever this is. It genuinely looks like a rug. That's, hmm. It's, it's all fun and games, but then we start to find some things that are a little bit less, uh, a little bit less in, uh, you know, okay. Just, just a bit. Now we're going back several years here, but if you go back a bit, 10 years old videos here, 10 year old videos. If you go back a bit, you can start to find some things like Lacey Peterson family contacts Gary Spivey. Now, if you're not familiar, I believe Lacey Peterson is like a, either she was murdered or she went missing and nobody knows what happened to her. But, uh, yeah, Lacey Peterson family contacts Gary Spi uh, Gary Spivey works through children with autism. I don't know if I like that phrasing, works through children with autism. Uh, Rhonda's cancer healing experience with Gary Spivey. Oh, I don't know if I like that. So, as as I as I said, it's all fun and games with this man until you actually start to look at the content. But, you know, I don't know. I haven't watched any of his videos yet. We might be in for something special. Maybe this will be our psychic awakening, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to lower the desktop audio by a little bit. And, uh... Going to lower this picture, too. And, uh, yeah, we're going to find... We're going to find a good video to start with. I guess we should go by sort... Uh, we should sort by most popular. Um, oh, I guess this is the one to start with. This is the one from the picture I'm, I've been showing you. Ga Psychic Gary Spivey, who, who he is. H here we go. I'm Gary Spivey, and I entertain people. <laughs> The reason I turned my psychic abilities into entertainment was simply because it works. <laughs> people mm -hmm. like to be entertained. People love to People laugh, love to give me money. Above all, I enlighten people. People get bored easy these days. I think people just want to hug you because your hair looks like a fucking cushion. Also, why are we zooming so in? I have to explain. Why, what's with the dramatic zoom in? In, it, like in it. sort of an entertaining way. I know it looked a little bit like the church lady. <laughs> right, but... Yeah, I'm pulling a out. Oh, no. Here's what I say to the naysayers that don't believe a thing about what I do. Hey, I hope I entertained you. I was born psychic in a little country town in North Carolina where everybody was very hospitable and fun and we all had parties and we... You were born psychic then, so you didn't choose to become a psychic. Okay. Married all, as you would. Let me get you some cornbread. Inspect all your points into the psychic branch. You want a piece or no? Give me a little piece. A little piece? I get it for you. I was always able to see things. I could see visions. That poor old I lady, man. Things. Oh, man. I had all kinds of titles. Crazy Uncle on. Gary. Modern day Nostradamus. Because I could predict um, future okay. events and all this sort of thing. Really, what I'm about is healing people. I just want everybody to be okay. You know, you, can, you know, I bet this man is a real sight. Because, like, because, like, of course he would be. You know what I mean? It's like, you had all these people out there who are who pretend to be psychics, and they try to, like, blend in with society and look like normal humans. Not Gary. He knows that his powers s severely outweigh that of a normal person. And so he wears a fucking... I, I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to call this. It looks like something that you'd stick on the end of like a... like a, a keyboard stand or something to like keep it from fucking scratching itself or... Oh, Heal yourself God. spiritually. Sure you can. Foam padding hair. a lot of things that have people stuck. I believe that almost everybody's stuck in some way. Well, I'm able to actually get rid of dark energies. Demons do exist. I can get rid of them. And I can teach people how to get rid of their own demons. By the way, how is the mic going, anymore. ladies I've and seen gentlemen? Amazing Give me a, things a quick uh, yay or nay A lot of times people come to me and they have chronic depression. 
I can get rid of it about as quick as I do this. If you notice guys, you feel a little warm when I'm doing that with my hands. That's because I'm actually allowing a lot of light into the room. You don't have to be open to my psychic abilities uh, to feel what I do. It's really not about me. It's all about you. It's all about you guys. And your Look at all those We're yays. All oh, this is great. There was one gay also, but I mean, you know, you're probably correct, honestly. To the light and whether you believe this or not, we're all one. You, me, everyone on the planet, no matter who you are, what you do, what you believe, what you're You understand that, everybody? Believe. You see? See? You understand? We're all one, guys. You could be one of these people. You could be like... You could be like this guy over here who looks like he really doesn't buy what's going on. Oh, okay, Boomer. Okay. You could be like this guy over here who just wants to go back home and play his video games. But no matter who you are, no matter who, no matter who you who are, you are all Gary Spivey. Are, what you do, that is important believe, to remember. That's a lesson. Is, what your religion is, what your color is. Nobody, you know, it doesn't matter. We're all human beings and we're all one. We're all a part of God. Oh my God, what the fuck? 2012 is this crazy time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When was this posted? Hmm. Oh, October 30th, 2012. Hmm. How we're living in. And Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, all the famous psychics of the past predicted something different. They couldn't see beyond 2012. Hmm. It was different. Something was, was changing. The Mayans, the Mayan hmm. calendar stops in December of 2012. No, Does that wow. mean it's the end of the world? I don't know, dude. I don't think so. It's actually the beginning of a new one. So oh. be a part of it, okay. and I'll explain to you how it works in a very fun way. Oh, I do not like the way that man looks at me. Okay, uh, well, you know, uh, 2012, not the end of the world. You know, you could have had me fooled, honestly. What is this? Married with children? Huh. All right, so that was uh, who Gary Spivey is, right? Let's take a look at part one here. This looks like this looks like a really old clip from something. Let's check it out. I'm Gary Spivey. The real deal. I'm clairvoyant. You felt him, right? The clair audience. Is that correct? Yes, it's I can see dead wow, this is crispy fucking audience. I'm ridiculous. This is almost as bad as my last mic. Holy shit. I glow 12 different colors. I love myself a lot. Dark energy, bad. Light energy, good. We got Gary Spivey on. A psychic been on just about every radio and television program you can imagine. This man will amaze you. He'll frighten you, give you chills. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. I've been doing this job a long time. Good going, everybody in the chat, shouting out Peg Bundy being hot. You're right. I, I'm glad that you're all on the right frame of mind you know i attract the i attract the milf loving individuals here on this channel i, I don't think we've ever had anybody on like you before so yeah this is like from the 90s or some shit once again this man has been around for quite some time Woo! and this hair is no more real in the 90s <laughs> Fucking technicolor dream. My regular days are wacky. Session. No one would ever believe my day. I'm late. <laughs> What's happening? Good. Ready ready to go? Go? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, I feel ready. real psychic today. Many times I'll talk to someone on the East Coast on a radio show at four in the morning, that's seven drive time. You were just basically possessed. See, when people are possessed, they actually spew dark negative energy. I do a radio show central time zone. So the psychic sonogram was correct. And then maybe I do a radio show on the West Coast. What are you doing? I'm getting rid of dark energy. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most- Yes, Ted Bundy is hot. That is exactly what I just said. You're correct. Accurate psychic is in the house. Our buddy, Gary Spivey. Before most people have had breakfast, I've spoke to three or four- I love how this guy's career, let's be honest here, this, this man's career, allegedly, I'm not making any accusations, but this man's career is basically like, you know what's going on, and I know what's going on. And I am so sure that I can still get your money, that I can wear this this ridiculous haircut, and you will still give me your money. Allegedly, that's all I'm saying. Can't wait to get fucking copy.
copyright claim for this song. Holy shit. Oh, God, it's bad. Dark around them like I've got them. Okay. So I have some eyes. You got some eyes? Yes. Yeah. Our next guest has the ability to channel spirits and to communicate with angels. Please welcome Gary Spivey. Mario Lopez is a to that's how you really know that you've made it, honestly. Gary, hey, would you please uh, do some readings for yeah. the audience? Yeah, I'd love that. Out there right Francis, now. Okay, great. Hi, what's your name? Chastity. And do you want to ask Mr. Spivey a question? Yes, will I ever get married? Will you ever get married? Yes. Um, you almost got married once, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I do see that you, you will get married, and it's probably sooner than you, than you think, because I see within a year. And so whatever this is, tends to work yeah, out. Yeah, girl, I'll marry you tonight. Quick, and I also see somebody in a medical profession around you. So oh, that, that's no. <laughs> wow! Hey, 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 thank you, Gary. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but I can tell you that. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. All right, what's your name? Courtney. And do you have a question for Mr. Spivey? This yes. is the stuff that that the the horrible internet generation is replacing. Can can you believe how bad we are? You have um, spirits around you. You have a lot of spirits. Thanks. Yeah. Right now? Yeah, right now. Um, when I was 13, my passed away and there's always been question about um, how she died if it was self-inflicted or if it was uh, not self-inflicted I was wondering if you could tell me but there was a problem one side here her um, head and her she was shot yeah boom in her head mm -hmm. yes and um, she tells me to tell you that um, she says first of all she says she loves you very much you know maybe the hair thing is like maybe it's like a signal like in, it's like a Wi-Fi antenna you know what I mean Maybe it helps with the psychic stuff. Maybe it's made of, like, a special kind of material. I don't know. This is new territory. She said she didn't mean to go. And she said she didn't mean to do it. She was confused. I think she was on drugs or drunk, right? Yeah. And she tells me to tell you that, that she just wants you to know that she... That I had to use drugs and get drunk every fucking day to be able to sit through another fucking day with you. Holy shit. She's been with you through you two major moves where yourself. you were really upset. That's what your and mom you says. Strength, That's, uh, and that was I, her. You know. And so she says she does you more good there than here. And she's, she tells me to tell you. <laughs> she Makes sense? Yeah. She tells me to tell you she's sorry. She's very sorry. And she loves you. Thank you. She wants me to tell you to tell two other people to tell them she loves them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Send this oh, off in a yeah. chain email. Here, I'll give you the link. It's uh, It comes with a free... Uh, advertisement for Gary Spivey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Thank you, yeah. Gary. Uh, so what have we got a question? Is you? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, hi, I'm Devon. I was yeah. just wondering, just in general, what you... I really like... Hang on. I really like this shot of, like, these three guys, because you got Mario Lopez here, who's, like, default, like... I guess he's not technically white, but he's, like, default player one character. And then you have this dude here. I don't know who this is, but he's like default player two character. And then you've got like bonus DLC character over here. <laughs> you get to play as like the wacky mascot character in like the In general, what material. you saw from my future. Okay, well, future's a big place. That's like in downloading an encyclopedia. So what do you want to know? Um, what do you really want? Let's to know? talk about, we've already talked about love, so let's talk about finances. Okay, I, t I see money working out good about uh, three months into the year. I see re-changing around or refinancing to something. Are you doing anything like that now? No, I'm looking to buy a house, actually. Okay, and that, that is going to actually straighten you up somehow to where then you feel very, very focused. And I feel great about your house. The only problem is you almost bought a house with the kitchen wasn't right. Mm, yeah. Yes. Make sense? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so now this house you're going to find has got a great kitchen. You love it. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we can keep going with this. This is like some more wonderful psychic stuff from Gary here. Maybe we'll check out part two and I guess part three in a little bit. But uh, let's let's move on. Did I just see some fucking Archie Bunker clips from All in the Family? You fuckers need to watch All in the Family. Like. The, the woke Twitter generation needs to watch All in the Family real quick. Um, okay, so Lacey Peterson family contacts Gary Spivey. And also how to move a grand piano delivery North Cal... What? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, this is an interesting shift in, in like, content. But, uh, all right, let's try this one. Eight years ago, Gary Spivey... Oh, no. Oh, I 
thought that was fucking dream on. Um, let's let's pause actually real quick. Take a quick gander over at the super chats and things. Um, browse through the main chat too. Let's see what do we got here. A dollar ninety nine from self. Uh, this is a free super chat. There's a, a number of question marks before and after some of these words, so I, I don't know. Um, uh, but thank thank you. Uh, Le- Le- Legend Girl one hundred one with five dollars. The the Castlevania stuff. I I, uh, I I did already read that one. What is a man? Indeed, I, I still haven't fi- figured out. Uh, Akai Suise with a dollar ninety nine. Orewa dioda, kiri. There you go. Um, you didn't even ask me to do the Kiryu, but you know I just threw that one in. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Takao no Kash with uh, five dollars. Um, yes, finally you stream when I'm not working. New mic sounds good, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Heat Hawk Noob with two dollars. Is this the new FGO caster? <laughs> Um, we got five dollars from uh, Mars. Have been watching your streams in the br- in the background while drawing. You give me lots of wild things to share with my D and D group. Uh, they wish you hadn't. <laughs> you know that's the sign of that's the sign of good content. Honestly. Uh, well, oh wow, they're really pouring in now. What what is this? Um, God's burden with a dollar ninety nine. Look up Gary Spivey in WCW. It's absolutely insane. Uh, Jules Lacey, like a second later, with a dollar ninety nine. I wish you would just kill me. Um, <laughs> and then two dollars from the real Asami Brony stream. When? Um. Well, you know, at some point we might do fluffy ponies someday. Uh, what's your opinion on Final Fantasy Crisis Core? Um. Unfortunately, the music alone makes me hate it. It's not even that bad. The music is not even that bad, but it, it makes me hate it because um, <laughs> because it's just not up to par, you know? Uh, not that bad, though. I mean, the story is ridiculous. The story is utter fucking garbage in, in Crisis Core. Actually, that whole game's got a lot of problems because the combat kind of fucking blows, too. Uh, not a big fan. <laughs> I give it like a 6 out of 10, maybe. Uh, honestly, I think I'm a bigger fan of Dirge of Cerberus. Um, the music also does not stand up to the original in that, but, like, I had no expectations for that, because everybody shits on it. It turns out it's, it's a decent little weirdo PS2 shooty blam game. I, I don't mind it. Uh, we got a new mic. You sound just as baseless as ever. Well, you know, baseless, faceless... That's that's how I like that's how I that's how I be. That's why I boost the fuck out of my bass in uh in my videos and everybody's like, "Why do you have so much bass in your voice, bro? What, what are you doing? What's wrong? What, what, why so much what why why is your why uh. um but uh yeah, I, I I think it sounds okay for the most part. Was that supposed to be M- M- Goro Majima? Uh that was just supposed to be Every every vaguely bad guy in in Yakuza who at some point has to shout Shinakiya and rip off his shirt and fight him on top of a fucking tower with like hel- helicopters like beaming down on them. Um, what's up, nerds? Gary Spivey did nine eleven. Autistic, autastic, a green and yellow basket. <laughs> Gary Spivey versus Logan Paul. Notice me, Lord Helmet. I mean, if he's psychic but didn't stop 9-11, then yeah, he's responsible. <laughs> I mean, you're right. I, I don't know. That seems like it would have given off some pretty serious fucking psychic energy, you know what I mean? Uh, favorite Yakuza game? Uh, I guess 5, just by, just by virtue of it being Yakuza 5 and having, like, 5 cities. But no, because then there's the part of the game where it's, like, a dance it's like a j-pop dancing idol game which didn't bother me because i'm a weirdo but uh i can imagine it would have bothered some people there's also the part where you play as fucking saijima uh oh god quick yakuza history lesson folks if you're not familiar with the series they introduced a new character in the fourth game named taiga saijima who starts the game in in jail and uh 
shortly after you you leave jail and you begin the rest of the game and the, his part of the game kind of fucking sucks but then in 5 they decided you know what leave, breaking out of jail was not bad enough the first time let's do it again so they forced you into like a 5 hour fucking like story on rails it's just the worst goddamn thing and then when you get out it's even worse <laughs> <laughs> they make you do a hunting simulator, which is kind of fucking okay, but it's like, now I'm forced into this, so I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know. I guess 5 isn't isn't my... F I guess I'd go with 0 as favorite Yakuza game. It's, it's the first one I played after, uh, like, a decade. Uh, more than a decade since I played uh, the original one on the PS2. And then probably Kiwami after that, just because the story of Yakuza 1 is like... Still probably the best one. Uh, Five dollars from Limbo Face. Uh, I'm willing to pay more for a psychic, a Deadwing psychic reading. <laughs> and another five dollars from Keenan Anderson. Love you, Hook Bro. Oh, thank you, sir. Th thank you both, sirs. Thank you very much. Uh, have you seen Death Stranding yet? I've seen it. I'm I'm very excited by the fact that it's just it's it's literally just a delivery boy simulator, and like apparently that's good, because I like games that are like. Uh, different types of like what the fuck is tetris you know what i mean like tetris just works it, it just works and it's a really addictive game and if you described yeah you you stack blocks it's like what that sounds like the worst fucking game ever it probably would get review bombed on ign or on metacritic or whatever um but yeah probably gonna get that at some point looking forward to the peak kojima story drink monster energy now crystal chronicles music is where it's at you're fucking right somebody mod this man dat guy chaos uh hornets over wu-tang killer bees you, you guys you, you guys know that uh japan has like giant evil killer bees there's just giant killer bees in japan they just come down from like mount fuji or whatever and they can like kill you at any time without warning they can just come into your apartment and fucking you're you're done son giant evil killer bees the 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 beautiful land of japan where it's it's in, it's inhabitants peaceful and kind <laughs> however that mean goes um crazy monster product placement in in death stranding uh excited for sword and shield no i am not i'm not into pokemon particularly and i'm especially disappointed in sword and shield because i was hoping that i could get into it uh i was hoping that it would be the breath of the wild moment the moment that def blah that's good that defined a generation fucking ruined myself um yeah no i i was uh disappointed in that it's like all of the fucking poke there's like birds flying around in one animation it's it's kind of disgusting honestly uh and it's like one of the biggest fucking game. It's one of the biggest names in gaming. So the fact that Pokemon doesn't have more like love and attention put into it is a little bit weird. I don't know if I like it. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's time to get back to Gary Spivey here. As much as I enjoy talking with you guys, it's in the in the coming week. I'm going to be doing like a music stream thing where I play some bass and stuff, and you'll get to see me on camera, and it'll be just the worst thing. And I can like, we can we can talk about video games and stuff uh, together uh, at, at the appointed time. But for now, let's take a look at once again Gary Spivey. Now this is the Lacey Peterson family contacting Gary Spivey in 2003 during the height of the Lacey Peterson missing persons case. Dennis Rocha, Lacey Peterson's father contacted psychic Gary Spivey for a private reading in hopes to get... Okay, so it's actually the fucking father's fault. Alright, so we can't really blame Gary Spivey for this one. It's, it's, it's actually the father's fault. Um, okay. Every time that I look okay. Did you murder your wife? No, no. I deal with painful issues. God, what is with this fucking audio quality? Holy shit. People that are lost, people that are kidnapped, people that are murdered. Lacey Peterson was eight and a half months pregnant when she disappeared Christmas Eve. This is, this is definitely worse than my videos. I remember recently Lacey Peterson's father wanted me to help him 
locate where she is. The answer I got is she is on the other side. I see her and she has um, her baby yeah. in her arms. She got her baby in her arms? Right. But well, where's her body laying now? She's showing me there's two spots. So you are, I, I can imagine anybody who just joins the stream at this point, like at any point during the stream, is going to be like, oh, hey, why does this man look like this? Oh, hey. I don't have an answer for you, but, you know, we're doing a stream, so I think that I, we're, I think that's the answer. I wouldn't be talking about some other psychic right now, uh, but but Gary Spivey is it. Go fishing? Yeah. And the one that seems to be very public that everyone is talking about is not the one. It's not the one. This is almost as fucking low quality as the voice samples from Space Divest by Dream Theater, which was from 1994. So, okay, we're going to move on from that one. As interesting as I'm sure it is. Uh, let's go by most recent. Let's do... what? What's his most recent one? Date added newest. Uh, I think I saw one from like a week ago. Ghost hunting with Gary Spivey. Here we go, ladies and gents. Time to go ghost hunting. Let's go! So let me get... Let, let me guess. This is some other fucking jabroni YouTube channel. That decided to jabroni themselves up by inviting fucking Gary Spivey. Okay, I'm in for it. My feet are hot and I just kind of feel like the air is just thick. So, she's saying I don't want to die, I don't want to die. There's just a lot of spirits here. There's 41 spirits. Down? Only 41? You're one short. He did. He did. He felt held down. He felt held down. Right. Yes. So right. that spirit. Yeah. 41 of them. The entity that. that I see in here is like a type of succubus, incubus. Almost entity. seems like he just wanted and to go chill at this party or whatever this is. Oh, I've had that happen to me once in my room. You had that happen, right? I sense the ghost, um, the darkest energy. Okay. <laughs> I, I sense the darkest energy is like down there. Mm-hmm. That's wow, good, this fucking good. this girl with the earrings is really into this shit. I think I think we know why he's directly talking to her. Let's see, let's just see. How old is that girl? Is that this is, yeah, it's crazy right now. It's all right. She's probably yeah. okay. There's a cloaked figure that actually. But sleep. I don't think anything's okay now that I'm picturing her with Gary Spo. Oh, God. oh. You know, this cloaked figure hangs out right, like right here, oh, and there's God. a vortex there. I can get rid of it. It's <laughs> like a mosaic. <laughs> Of semen. So how you felt hot all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. You felt warm? Mm -hmm. But there's about three or four earthbound spirits. Yeah, in she's here. definitely feeling warm, yeah. I, I, but I, not yeah. because of the there's fucking no spirits. Lady here. Here. Oh. That girl is so her? into yes. him. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess no go with God. You know. It was my um one of my uh we had a party and she was sleeping in here. She said an old lady came and opened the door. Asked her a question and then walked out. And we were like, oh, lady, there's a party. Old, what are you talking about? This old lady. She just says this is her house. Homeboy oh, got helmet he... hair. Is Deadwing possessed? Ah, fuck you. Ah. This is my house. No, but my weirdo my... music choice is <laughs> fully within my own cognition. My Don't worry. House. I tell her you want her to leave. I want you to leave. Now. Right now. I got chill through my, my whole body. There's actually somebody who shot themselves that blew their brains out. And so they're looking at me with one eye because that's all that they have because they shot half their head off. I had a friend that killed himself and shot himself in the face. Oh my god, the ghost is on Gary's head. You're right. Perfect hiding place. Right oh, you did? Yeah. That's what about this girl? This looks fucking terrifying. Yeah. That's who I got. I've got that your... Mike. What's his name? Mike. With blue one eye. Imagine this guy comes, uh, you see this coming at you on like a dark alley, you know? Like, this is, you know what, you know what Gary Spivey has definitely got going for him that I can't even, like, question is, you know how with The Simpsons, Matt Groening made sure that, like, each of The Simpsons had, like, a really distinct silhouette? That's what Matt, Gr uh, that's what, that's what Gary Spivey has going for, for him. You see Gary Spivey from, like, fucking 20 paces in the dark through the fog you know it's Gary Spivey there's nobody else that it could be well maybe Ronald McDonald maybe like 
trench coat flasher Liberace M Ronald McDonald. I don't know. Oh, and he's only got one eye. He's looking at me with one eye. Make sense? Okay. Stores all his power. Okay, tell him to look up. Please, please look up. Tell him to go to You're noticing here when you walk Every through, animator guys, is expected to have characters with strong silhouettes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. This is the cold Gary Spivey is my favorite anime cold. character. Yeah, but in here you feel these chills, and these chills are like, well, they'll kind of go, and, and this means there's like two or three earthbound spirits. Did you know anyone earthbound that killed spirits. themselves? Yes. Who killed themselves? TT, one of my first boyfriends. Okay. He's telling you he's sorry. He's telling you he's sorry. Same thing. He's hung in that moment of death where he's saying he's sorry, but he's around you. Ghost theory. Could the earthbound spirits in this lady's house actually be Sans from un uh, uh, under underbound? Uh, mm. Knew that you would sob it for him. Ruin that at that the end. Get to the it's line. definitely Sans, guys. And so he's the discord in here. Is the problem. Oh, so this is why Discord keeps dropping my fucking calls. Okay. I thought it was just the diaper furs, but it's the ghosts. He used to, uh, I swear, he used to Ghost be diaper every 16th furs. of the month. <laughs> like, every 16th, I would freeze up. I you get cold? Up. I would, yeah, yeah, I would lock up. Call his name now. TT Ozzy. He says, I'm here. Mm hmm. And I tell him to look up. TT, look up. Tell me to take the angel's hand. Take the angel's hand. Do it now. Tell me. Do it. Do it now. Do it right now. Do it right now. It's not a kink or anything, but I want to see this man with his shirt off. Says person in chat. Thank you, chat member. I mean, I can see it. I I can see what you, you know. I I there's definitely a vibe going on. He's got something. He's got this yeah, charisma. Take the angel's hand. You know, I guess. Take the angel's hand right now. Tell him to take a step into the light. For some step reason, this girl's step. fucking hot. Mm -hmm. Tell him to take one more step. Take one more step. Okay, there we go. Now tell him you love him. Big discord in here. And he was also. Yeah, no relationships work out. Yeah, see, no relationships work out. No, see, he was running off all Don't your worry, relationships. Gary, I'm single. Okay. Uh, well, we're pretty close to that. Yeah, so he was running off every boyfriend, every situation you would have, everybody he was running off. And so wow. that was repelling everything. And now it won't. And now it won't. Isn't that good? Better. Give me a hug. Fix your ghost pup. <laughs> yeah, give me a hug, baby. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, hey you know, guys, if you like, I think we've got some idea as to why Gary's so so into uh, so into the, the 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 ghost hunting career, you know. And the what is this? What is this sexy lady? What, what's going on here? First of all, I see someone, and they come to me, and they, their name is, I'm trying to discern their name, but it's Mari, or Mary, or Marie, or Marie, I can't hardly say it. How do you say it? Matt, it's my oh, okay. name. Oh, that's right. No, no, this is a person on the other side. So yes. This is just like a random video of him talking to some attractive lady. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel like without this weirdo hair thing that's going on, he probably wouldn't have an excuse to just talk to all these, like, ladies. Uh... So it's my grandpa. Oh, your grandpa? You laugh, but... Father. That's why I have this name, because his name is Jean-Marie. Jean-Marie? Jean -Marie? Okay, mm -hmm. my French is lousy, okay? <laughs> my English is actually lousy, too. You see this person, they're coming to me, and they said, and they said, I got your okay. woman here. I don't know why we're reading this random lady, but uh, she's definitely pretty. Uh, tent Christmas message. Let's do one of these, like, podcast things, tapping in with Gary Spivey. I'm sure Gary would love to tap in on some of these, some of these, uh, un unwitting consumers. Hey guys, welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. I am Gary Spivey, and remember, this is a spiritual don't show. Don't worry, dude, you don't need to tell anybody that you're Gary Spivey. We, we know. It gives you real solutions uh, to all your problems. And they're are we in the fucking Taj Mahal right now? Okay. Solutions. So, and I've got some uh, new people uh, hanging out with me today. I got uh, producer Tony. What up? How you doing? I'm, Good. I'm so happy to be here right now. Yeah, I you're, really am. I'm you're literally like a happy. You're podcast junkie. I know. You know, I mean, you, you come working uh, to work with me, and, and you are listening to all these podcasts yeah. you're like a big gary v fan yeah. and so and you're just like i mean you're like a stalker <laughs> actually you stalk a little bit 
Right. No, bit. no, you really kind of did. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, now you turned red. He's like, yeah. And so, <laughs> but, but no, but you, you love him. And you, know, you had conversations with, you know, so, yeah. so you're just, you know, you're like Mr. Podcast. So well, yeah. I'm happy to have you here. Love Thank you. Here. Thank Great. you for having me. Yeah. We're having fun. And this is Yusuf, my Yusuf. buddy. And hey. so, hey. And oh. so now we've been around, we've been buddies for how long? Long time. Uh, over a little over 20 years. Yeah. A long time. Long and so time. Yusuf is like this spiritually gifted mm -hmm. uh, buddy, a uh, friend. Most of the people around me I have, have like, some he's also a very talented and, grifter and sort of like in in a way allegedly this way or that way and and everybody's psychic i mean all you guys at home i mean you you're really really psychic and so all you got to do is just meditate everything the key is meditation and if you don't meditate these days pretty much the demons will carry you off <laughs> so oh my God, it, is, it is crazy i mean remember to text in your meditations fax me in some pizza rolls while you're at it and have you noticed everybody's like a little extra nuts and so they are really you know, looking like this I'm, I'm saying other people are nuts but but really, really uh, you fucking caught me you got crazy. me gary you knew what joke i was about to make gary and you fucking oh you 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 scuck these days scum and so uh oh. if you're feeling it you know call me up and uh and and i think we're gonna have some callers you're welcome to call me up 800-827 gary and i will answer your calls right here on tapping in with gary spivey and so now we have a call right we have mm -hmm. veronica we do okay yeah. good let's let's see what's happening hey veronica how are you it's gary spivey Hello. hey how's it going and so you know well what a shock it's an attractive sounding lady had a question and so so we, we got it an email earlier or or where where do we get the did we get it on i think through instagram oh we got it on instagram okay and so so anyway uh, you had a question and so um what's your question today fucking of course of all fucking modern social media apps for for this old man to have he has instagram of course like that's the that of course that just makes too much sense my question is related to a relationship I was in um, the last six months. I've been seeing a guy, and recently he's pulled back, and I'm having a horrible time moving on. Right. And so I just wanted to see if you could offer So you're single? Go on. Yeah, what's is going on? It? Well, here's, here's what I see. I think that you are a little bit passive-aggressive, and, and, so, and you sort of taught him how to do that. And and he didn't need too much help learning how because whatever relationship. Wow, what he the was fuck, with, Gary? You're just like going off all of a sudden. Jesus Christ, gloves are off. Just like yeah, you're a bit of a passive aggressive cunt, you know? Just a little bit. Forced. You're just a little bit of a cunt. It feels like that he's still sort of hung in that in his head, not in reality, but in his head. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. like that's how to treat. Like. That's what he learned and how to treat people like um, tit for tat, kind of. Yeah, passive aggressive. Uh, passive aggressive relationships is the most common thing that people do in dysfunctional relationships. And it always ensures the end of the relationship. It, it actually ensures that the relationship will soon or sooner or later be over uh, because people go to bigger swings. And you guys ever had a passive aggressive girlfriend? See. Si. <laughs> yes. You have? Yes. Uh, really? Uh, what was that like? What was that like for Tony? It, it, it was honestly like. I want you. I don't want you. In four minutes, I'm going to want you, but maybe not after we're done with dinner. You lost me already. You exact. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so, but he's doing that number on you a little bit, right? Like, um, he told me that his feelings weren't growing for me, but he's still been in communication with me, and we still, you know, yeah. flirt and hang out. Shows interest. Off. I feel like these uh, guys are hanging out with Gary Spivey for like the hanger on effect, you know. Like, he keeps talking to these women, they're, like, single, and these guys are just like, yeah, 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 whatever you got to say. Whatever you say, Gary, uh, I, I'm on board, dude. Yeah, just teach me your ways, dog. Can I have that weirdo medallion that you're wearing around your, your, your chest? Can I just have that? I bet that'll help. He does show interest still, so I'm a little confused as to where this might or might not be going. And Would that I could. Be able to get past would it. that I could have but a lock of that majestic mane. It would make me half the man that Gary is. H half, half the one thousandth of the man that Gary is. Let's be honest. Half is half is too much. Gary is a I'm god. A really, really hard time with it. Well, here's the thing. I see a lot of dark energies around it. Okay, 
And so um, you can actually get possessed by, by, I call them ping pong demons. And these ping pong demons will ping one person ping and pong, pong the next demons. one. And ping okay. As you go through your passive aggressive things. I'm going to get rid of what I see in the spiritual dimension and uh, see how you got dizzy all of a sudden. What'd that feel like? Yeah, I'm walking, Looks like so styrofoam. It feels like a little light. Okay, good. Oh, good, good, good. And now your feet are warm? Yeah. Ah, how about that? And so I pulled a dark energy away from you, but I call these the ping pong demons, and they ping and yeah. pong people backwards and forwards. Yeah, you mentioned other. that. Uh, here's we already had a bit of a I think a, if you can get snark. him to take a little trip with you, have you guys talked about going anywhere to just a little trip? Yeah, we've talked about possibly getting, like, doing, like, a staycation. Okay. Do it. That's do what it. Do. And, and if you can do this little vacation, the little trip, whatever it is you, you've talked about already, I think that he'll get out of his way, out of his head, uh, and you will also get out of your way, out of your head, and I think you guys will work it out. I just see all you got to do is take that little trip. So I would push for the trip, not have too much backwards and forwards, uh, you know, in the meantime, uh, and then I see things working, and you'll be able to kick it and go up to the next level. Now, when I look at him, I'm clearing all kinds of things off of him. Whoever his ex is was really Spidey a mess. Spidey, too, yes. Sense? Zap to the extreme. I will. Thank you, Father. I mean, really, really a mess. Yeah. And so, and is, that ex, is, is this ex still around? So... Lately, I've found out that she found out about me, and I think she's been around more. And ah. also, he has roommates that happen to be her sister and her cousin, so that oh, doesn't help. That's I think she's still around. I, I think she's extent. around and she's <laughs> hovering. I don't think he has any interest at all because he was really done with that. And so I think he's still interested in you. All right, all right. Relationship advice with Gary Spivey. He's going to tap in. His neck. Okay. There we go. Now tell him to take the angel's hand. Just take the angel's hand. Hey, it's he another it. okay. lady. Okay. Now tell him step into the light. Step into the light. Step into the light. Okay, there he goes. There he there goes. He goes. Real, your oh, there he go. goes. Hey, he stepped into the light, everybody. Wait, 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 we did it. Great. I love the the casual nature of this. He's just like, yeah, okay, tell him to step into the light. All right, bye, bye. Don't come back. All right, so now you're single then, right? You're like a widow. That's kind of hot. Warm. You felt your legs get warm. Ooh. As you, I, I, you felt it too. I was trying not to speak. Uh -huh. as, as soon as you started it, everything in my body got tingly. Uh -huh. Your face got blurry and your hair got blurry. And everything yeah. just seemed bright and fuzzy like when I was a kid again. And I was like, oh, my Lord. And I was just sitting here. <laughs> I was like. Mm. And Tony's going through something. You're supposed to have a breakdown. He's having a breakdown here. Anyway. <laughs> so, well, there we are. You know you did your friend the best favor in the world. Oh, okay. Nice. If, you, if you get somebody oh, into the, the light that they're earthbound okay. from killing themselves, that is the biggest favor earthbound, you right. could do for anybody on the planet. Okay, let's jump ahead here. Because I would tell people how to get pregnant. Oh, yeah. I bet you fucking would. And here we have another lady. Well, this is going to be a girl. So yeah, so we can't her. name it. Ga we can't yeah. name the girl Garina. I don't know. Garina. <laughs> Spivey Licious. There you go. That's got a ring to it. <laughs> Spivey Licious. Anybody need a new fucking username and chat? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think your husband would probably kill you. Yeah. What? He'd be like, what? What do you mean? That's a terrible name. So, <laughs> well, anyway, well, well, thank you a lot. Do you have another question? It feels like you have something else. What else did you want to know? That was it. I actually go in tomorrow for an ultrasound to see if the medicine that I'm taking is helping for our fertility treatment. Uh, very much so, I hear. Yes. Okay? Thank you, Gary. Hey, take care. Good luck with it, okay? Thank you so much. Have uh -huh. a good day. Hey, you too. Lots of love. <laughs> Lots of love, and oh, thanks awesome. for all that's the fish. Cool. Okay, had one had more caller. Let's see who it is. Because of you. We didn't and know she, that. She didn't even know that you had that. Yeah, well, see, I, I told you, you wow. know, like a lot of times I sit up at night and I answer, you know, things on Instagram. And, and so. Um, yeah, and is like, that what you're doing? Staying up at night on Instagram, my bro? <laughs> is, that, is that what's going on there? Okay. I'll just tell people, you know, what I see. Yeah. And, and then they, that'll. A little free consultation. It works out. So there we go. That's yeah. great. This no, changed her amazing. life. Yeah. She was trying to have babies. She couldn't. She didn't yeah. know she had that. Yeah. You find wow. it. Yeah. She good. went, got a procedure out, and now she's going to be able to get pregnant. There we go. What? I'm excited. That's good awesome. luck for her. That's a good. That's great. Good, good. Congratulations. It all works out. Oh, and they just mind. say keep that as if they know that it's worked. Well, I guess they're psychics, so they do know. But, like, yeah, there's definitely no chance that she could just, like, Maybe be infertile. That that never happens. You guys, too. If you want a private reading with me, I do do private readings every day still. Well, I'm sure you I do, Gary. I love it. I love talking to you guys. You can call me up, 800-827-GARY, 1-800-827-GARY. I don't think I've seen him talk to a single man, like, 
I don't think he he's done a reading, you know, for like a single fucking guy so far that I've looked at. Uh, except for the father of the dead girl, I guess. But and uh, book a private reading with me, and I'll be talking. I wonder to if you. he treats ma- male customers like shit. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your daddy didn't love you. Bye. As well as you can also go on Gary Spivey. You got a girlfriend. Time. And so I, I just love you guys. And so anything you got, you can call me up. I'll fix you. Many times, too, when people do learn to meditate, uh, they need a spiritually gifted person to clear their energy mm. first uh, to really get all the junk away. That really man looks like a damn they, igloo. They You're kind of right. Really you know what else he kind of looks like? He looks like one of those Japanese like rice ball things with the seaweed and the yeah. He looks like that pretty much. It's kind of appetizing, honestly. I wouldn't mind taking a bite. They can stay. Gary so Spivey is like a tasty snack. Seven Gary. So our next question is from Marilyn Brown from Instagram. Her question is, Hey wow, Gary, okay. I seem it's to be another st- fucking lady. Hmm. Hmm. Stagnant and trying to get a job. What is Stagnant holding me back or job. blocking me? I apply for jobs, but why can't I accomplish hanging on to a job? You should really just accomplish okay. hanging Let's yourself her instead. Her cool. Hello. Hello. Is this Marilyn? Yes, it is. Oh, Marilyn, it's Gary Spivey. How are you? I'm Wait calling you from Tapping. Why? Your... Why did we need to have the question read beforehand if we're gonna also talk to the lady on the phone? Gary Why couldn't she just so ask the question? I, I, I wanted to answer your question. And so can you just ask me one more time? Yes. I, I know I've been having stagnant air, and I'm wondering what negative energy that I need to release. To the, I've just been in a rut. Okay. And stuck. I, I'm, I'm at a loss. Okay. And so when you're stuck, you, you're looking for a different job or a job situation, right? Careful, everybody. Yeah. Don't spam rice balls in the chat. Apparently, Markiplier's people spam something and so, some emojis in the chat and wound up getting fucking like banned from youtube <laughs> because youtube is a very good platform. don't you love living in the future the blade run the officially blade runner-esque future where uh ev- everything on the internet is owned by like three companies and so if you happen to be accidentally deleted from one of those sites you're just fucked forever don't you love living in it, it could have been so it, you know say what you will about the shittiness of the blade runner future but at least we had robots and space travel you know what i'm saying this is the lamest dystopia we could have ever fucking had okay and so and you can't seem to find and one. That's where right. I'm stuck at. I'm i think we're good here on this 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 stream or whatever this is this episode of this thing um i think we're good on that let's let's move on let's try something something else something spicy keen one hey everybody it's killer keen star look at these fucking live at bally's casino i guess this isn't watchable but uh psychic oh uh uh-oh uh-oh psychic gary spivey reads las vegas shooting Uh uh-oh oh i don't like this 98.5 98.5 KLUC. Oh my god. Watch now with Dickhead and Fucko in the morning. 1 800 827 Gary, 1 800 827 G A R Y. I know this is going to come up. Is that the fucking X Files theme to, to like intro this man? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm a serious uh, s- psychic. The psychic medium field is, is my passion f- with the X Files theme in the background. Okay. I was thinking it myself. Do you, can you, are you comfortable with, are you able, I can't even hardly believe I'm saying this right now, but uh, there obviously was, at this point, as much as we know, there was one person who perpetrated this evil. Are you able to get in his head? Well, I, I, I wish I could tell you that I'm not, but I am. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I hear it's really way too early for some people to even hear it. Again, sometimes the truth sets you free. Um, when, I, when I look inside of, of what would possibly make this occur, there's, you know, you hear me talk about dark energies, and this was a super dark energy. It was a super big demon. People do get possessed. They go crazy, and they do crazy, crazy, ho- horrific, horrible things that, that hurt other people. And, and, uh, but what was the core of what was in his head was his 
Um, he he was very much addicted to things. He had strong addictions, and so the demon that I see with him, he was mad at his uh, addictive demons, and so he was addicted to uh, uh, things, guns. Super he was addicted to demon. being kind of well, hello, in his head, the man, even though his outer probably awareness from friends and things weren't so. Uh, but he was, you can he was bring sort of addicted to uh, uh, even uh, playing games, gambling, different things. And so he was just mad, and he had no joy in him, and he was actually angry. These demons aim at people's joy. And so he had the demon in him that aims at other people's joy. And we can never, ever, ever, ever let that defeat us. Um, it's a total anti-God demon. And so, but it was a very big one, and it was a really bad one. And he was just aiming at your joy every time he he shot into that crowd. He was aiming at someone's joy, aiming and that's at your what joy. that's what that was. And he had had it in him for. I was a actually month. discussing the Las Vegas shooting last night, and how like basically nobody has talked about it since. And there's like a cloud of fucking mystery surrounding the whole thing. And if there was ever a conspiracy theory to be right about, it might be that something's fucking up with the the Las Vegas shooting. Um, I think we can we can rest assured Gary's got us covered. He's gonna he's gonna tell us all the secrets. Long time, I think he started planning this even two years ago. Is what I see in my head. So this predates wow. the the anti anxiety medicine. That you know, there's been talk that this anti anxiety medicine causes aggression, and the, and then does that so that predates that, or was it exacerbated oh. by that? You know what I mean? Did the medicine? Yeah, it, well, it can totally turn up the volume in Stoke people. The fire, a lot of times, yep. wow. yeah, a lot of times you you'll hear me on the air talk about it. You know, I'll say that medication's not a, not going to agree with you or whoever, and and I'll call people out and they'll say you're on an antidepressant, you're on an anti anxiety medication, and uh, they'll say yeah, I am. I say well, you're actually on three, and they'll say yeah, I'm on three. You know, and so so, uh, but I can see the see these, uh, and sometimes they do not work for wow. you. Sometimes it gets people over the hump. Uh, and then, you know, they should move on with their lives. And sometimes it becomes the problem and, and it can make it way, way worse. And the demons that are whispering to these people in their ear or in their head, then totally can possess them. And you'll see this thing can occur. This is this, this happens all the time. I see it in private readings every day of my life. And so totally. Totally, totally. But he, he had this in his head off and on uh, in different ways uh, on how to do it. For uh, Like I said, I go back, and I, I, one of the biggest questions I asked myself psychically was, when did he start thinking of this? And I hear two years ago. So there was an incident two years ago where it feels like he lost a lot of money or something occurred, and, and he got mad at the system, if you would. And then that's when he started making his plan. And then we had word today, you know, come out. Um, yesterday confirmed that he had rented rooms at Og at the Ogden through Airbnb for, for Life is Beautiful. And then today it came out that he had rented hotel rooms overlooking uh, Grant Park in Chicago during Lollapalooza. So who knows what he's done, you know, even prior to that. Like I said, it was in his head for a very long time, and he wanted to just really get so... um, his perfect opportunity. This was uh, uh, many right. times these particular demons and... This is a very opportunist kind of thing to do, Gary. Um, I think you know this. I mean, obviously, that's part of your job description, but it's like, you know, uh, it's not even being that, like, disrespectful to, like, the victims, I guess. It's really more being disrespectful to the fucking shooter, if anything. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, hmm. Uh, he's not really saying outside of the ping pong demons or whatever the fuck, outside of the, the depression demons that shoot for your joy or whatever. Uh, he's not really saying much that couldn't already be gleaned from like, like, Oh, he's a crazy motherfucker who shot a bunch of fucking people. Um, we got a booty cruise over here, guys, a booty cruise. Oh, this sounds fucking lit fam. What's going on here? Why is this on your perfectly legitimate psychic channel, Gary? But here we go. Another booty cruise. We'll see what happens. Another booty cruise. Look at this fucking half. Look at he's like tan. I f first of all, I really like this this half transparency thing as we fade to the next shot because it looks like he's like, it looks like he's like a ghost man, but he's also like. He's also look at the tan 
and the eyes are like a different color than the rest of his face and skin. Oh no. It happens. Uh, they're really tame about this time of the night. And uh, judging from the noise in the crowd and seeing the energies on the boat, I think this is going to be a good one. Follow me to see what happens. Okay. We're doing a... Gary, what do you see? She's very sweet, very kind. I think she likes to cook and she likes spanking these days. She does. She says I do. Ship has fucking sailed on this one, hasn't it? Or should I say the booty cruise has sailed? Yeah, I, I, think, th I think our questions about whether or not Gary is... Uh, in this for the ladies, uh, have come to a rapid fucking conclusion here. Hammer time! Oh no, not yeah. 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 So yeah. you're saying that his hair is a fire of hazard. Wanted to ask about my oh, don't bring down the like this. Bitch. You behaving yourself? <laughs> you, 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 she would get in her, your face with her finger, right? Yeah. She had a finger that disappointed her. So she, and she never met my daughter, so that would hurt the most. She said she gave her to you. She said she met her before you did. She says you kind of knew that already. Because I see her, my, I see my grandma and my daughter a lot. Yeah, she said she met her in heaven and sent her to you. She said you needed something stable. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. I'll give you That's something good. stable, Your daughter, baby. Grandma. <laughs> Every time. She said it straightened your butt up. Yes, it definitely did. That's your grandma talking. Rhythm, you have it or you don't, you don't. You don't, don't, you don't, you don't. I figured it was going to be more, I figured it was going to be more women like, you know, uh, in like bikinis and shit and not like old frumpy bitches, um, who couldn't find Hey! So worth coming from California to meet everybody. Booty Crew 2017! Legitimate psychic, Gary Spivey. Call your book your appointment now, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. This girl is like twelve. Oh, no. Okay, okay, that's quite enough of that. Good lord, holy shit! I have never been more fucking disappointed by something with the word booty in the title. Okay, well, uh, right. Let's let's do like one or two more. I, I did say this was gonna, gonna be a bit of a shorter stream today, because uh, this was mostly meant to test the mic out, which uh, seems like it's doing okay. Well, we got another fucking booty cruise over here, but I am good on that. No thanks. Uh, happy Easter. I don't know why this how to move a grand piano one is so fucking. First of all, so long, but also why it has so many more views than all the other ones. I, I don't know, but grand grand piano delivery, I guess. Is this literally just what it says on the tin? That's, that's very weird. I don't know. Time to get fucking blazed and just watch some dudes deliver a fucking piano, I guess. Not that I'm condoning anything, but... Let's leave a little space.
like I love it. I love when it's like an edited video and they leave in some bullshit. Love it like just a truck that like you can't even fucking hear what's happening. I love that shit. Like, why would you edit? Why would you leave this in? Maybe add some music or something. I'm the same truck with Bob in it. I was gonna help you. Just <laughs> <It> is... <laughs> who are these people? Over sixty-four pounds of wool. That was on me. his head. That was me. That was you. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Sixty-four oh, pounds of wool on his head. So it is wool then. It's like a. He's basically a llama. He's oh, basically good. an alpaca. Uh, oh, you got okay. tools? Can you see this? Yeah, you do. Okay, great. Let's, let's go. You're the man. So you got a grand piano. Did you pay? That's really a great rig. I've never seen that rig before. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. Women say that to me all the time. How many pianos do I move a, a week? How many do I move in a week? Yeah. Hundreds? Yeah. About 25 a week. Wow, that's a lot. All over the country? Well, I, I cover the southeast. So, and I have been, I have been around literally a John C. Riley character. Alright. Alright, here's the Yeah, that's 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 that's fine. Uh, this isn't a grand piano. What the fuck is this? I guess it's like part of a grand piano. I guess, I guess it kind of is. Very little pack. Huh? Buddy, run. Why am I like? Why am I watching this? You know? I guess it's it's fine. It's on his channel. Whatever he wants to put on his channel, it's up to him. Why would we be interested? Why, why would you record there, this? That be nice. Now, now step on that. Is this yeah. literally just like, hey, look, ladies, I've also got a grand piano in addition to this, like, uh, uh, frankly, iconic look. I mean, nobody else looks like Gary Spivey. He does have that going for him. Look at all these fucking normal men paling in comparison to the the god himself. Okay. So we're just straight up just delivering a fucking piano here. Right. You did good. Ain't going now. All right, then. Who's, who's stringing there? I don't know. No, no, no. He's he's on that. Okay. We're literally just setting up a piano. Hey, Donnie, come over here. Enjoy, enjoy. It's a very specialized yeah. piano. I'll tell you, it's oh, going to go wrong. Pretty cool. Cool. Okay. What could possibly, possibly go wrong? It could possibly go wrong. Bubsy 5. All right, well, that's the piano. I don't know why that has so many views. Like, that's the weird thing. If you sort by most viewed... That one was like, that was up there. That was like his third most viewed video or some shit. Well, it, was, it was like his sixth most most viewed. But yeah, that was a popular one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's like a front for something. Maybe if you download the video that you can like decode it and it can like lead you to some kind of encrypted RAR file or some shit. I don't know. Again, not making any accusations. We're going to open up the phone lines right now. In fact, we have Joanne from Silverton on the line. Joanne, do you have a question? I do. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I was wondering if Gary felt any... Um... It's amazing how after, like, how long have I been streaming? An hour and 11 minutes? It's amazing how after, like, an hour, the the appearance of Gary is, like, almost just washed over me at this point. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's like... I remember back in the day when you'd see this man's picture on, like, 4chan or whatever, and it was like, Gary Spivey, psychic, healer. And it was like, hey, look at this fucking weirdo. And it was funny because it was like you just had to look at him. But now, now we all know what's really going on. 
And now I think we're all older and wiser Sonics who know what they like. They like to put the beans on it, and they know that's they they know that Gary's into some. We know why Gary likes doing this. Uh, we we can we can glean some some definite information here. I I uh, not make not make it any oh, whatever. Anyways, this is Gary Spivey Part Two. This is from two thousand eight. This is a more than ten year old video. Everybody, this is a very old video. And uh, his hair is so awesome. And yeah, here we go, Gary Spivey Part Two anything about my health i have a friend who's pass, passing away which is the first time i've dealt with death and i have a, doing, i'm going Gary? through a custody issue with my daughter and i just oh feel like i'm not going to be able to hold up under this and i'm wondering oh, if he feels shit. strength or areas i need to pay this attention like to health wise shit. well here's what i see you're so stressed out you're not letting enough light in your body uh -huh. and see it's really important to meditate slash pray and let more light in your body but I, I see that you're really you clench your jaw uh -huh. all the time and I don't know if you have you have a, a inner ear disorder oh uh, you know that's I don't know if you've been feeling a little weird and kind of sick to you and dizzy yes okay that's your inner ear okay okay and that's coming because because you clench your jaw causing TMJ and that's oh. because you're so stressed oh and that's oh, what's okay. happening so but that's Gary is like a doctor in addition to a, a healer here's a Here's the beautiful lady that that Gary's taken home tonight. By the way, let's let's jump ahead here. Who's this lady? What's she got to say? And my son is eight years old, okay. and he happened. He claims that he had seen her after she had passed right. away. Oh, right. Wow. He came. She actually hangs out with him quite a bit, and he has all kinds of things going on that he don't tell you all the time. Yeah. And he sometimes will say, "Oh, you wouldn't understand." That's what he tells you, right? He's like he kind of like that a little bit. But he, he's very, very psychic. He's very oh, clairvoyant, like especially in his room. This kid could be, like, up to something. Who, who is this lady? Is her, is, maybe her son is, like, Eric Harris or some shit. It's like, ah, oh, little Billy's fine. He's just psychic. It'll be okay. He's just talking to Grandma or whoever the fuck died. And it's like, no, maybe little Billy's doing fucking cocaine. You don't and he know. sees things in his bed. And, and uh, sometimes he be sees angels. Don't talk sometimes to Gary he can Spivey. even see little dark spirits that scare him. He only yeah. knows about how he to put babies into women. He has no yeah, idea how to raise them. He's, he's claimed that he's... We just moved into this house um, about a year and a half ago, and he claimed that he had seen a man in our bathroom. Yeah, he does. He's able to see in all these dimensions. And so he's just able... He's also very much a healer. And your aunt is touching your hand right now. You have one hand warm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You feel it? She touches yeah. your hand. She tells me that that's how you're going to know she's around this you. This bitch She'll is going to go hand. home and fucking parent her kids and, and do some crazy shit. And they're just going to like, they're, they're, she's just going to follow this man because he, he said, oh yeah, your hand is warm. And she she's probably fucking like hot for, for Gary, let's be honest, because every woman is. But like, he's going to be like, oh, your hand is warm. And she's like, oh my God, you're right. And then she's going to go home and she's never going to get her son the help maybe that he needs or give him the actual like discussion or whatever that, that needs something needs to happen here. And it's not psychics. You know what I mean? Like, oh, and you, wow. what does your hand feel like? Very warm. OK. All right. OK, here's the deal. I'm getting goosebumps oh, yeah? just listening oh. to this. <laughs> um, is everyone else feeling feeling goosebumps just listening to these stories? People do think I'm totally nuts. Looking like I look with white, white clothes, white hair, it makes it much easier for my angels to spot me. Uh, my hair... That's the reason. Oh, no, this is natural. I get it. I get it now. He needs the hair and the suit and everything. He needs it so that you can see him from fucking space. Uh, my hair... Oh, no, this is natural. Oh, okay. Yeah, we believe you, Gary. Okay. Did you murder your wife? No, no. We have this clip. Christmas Eve. Which we've, already seen. we've already seen. This is just like a super cut of the best Gary moments. Hey, remember that time when the lady died and I talked to her fucking ghost or whatever? Yeah, and they paid me for that? That was awesome. There we go. And there we We're go. talking to fucking Mila Kunis over here. There. Now you feel that something left. Feel that? Lighter. A little, mm -hmm. bit. A little bit? Right, good. Like okay. generic there we are. X Files music. Okay, well, here's what I see. You're moving. Or, or something I see a different place or redecorating what's that I'm painting my boyfriend's house oh you're redecorating yeah oh, okay is that actually Mila Kunis wow a good fucking guess. Do you spend time there yeah okay that's the move you're trying to make it where you could actually be there I'm just gonna work on your energy see Sounds feel your like feet her. tingly 
Looks like it's hot. Lighter, see? And there. There we go. Don't be nervous. You also going to throw away something that he likes very much. I don't know if this is a sofa or some kind of chair. Oh my god. Does that make sense? <laughs> You're going to and he's going to get really angry. I'm throwing yeah. What oh you my god. what are you throwing away? <laughs> His couch, mm -hmm. his couch is, is like so a, but it's, a, it's sort of nappy and not attractive. It's gross. It's, it has yeah. like stains on it from old dogs. Yeah. It's Looks nappy. Like space right. But he wants right. to keep it. Oh right. my God. Yeah. Yeah. And I see you throwing this out oh, and, and you have to, no, you have to do it when he's not there. Believe me, it's better for him that you do this. You see what I mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll tell him you said it. So yeah. Me. Yeah. But don't, but don't let him know you're doing it or you'll want to keep it. Fucking is Mila Kunis. Why, why is Mila Kunis talking to fucking Gary Spivey? Somebody needs to ask her that in like an interview or whatever. Because she's like a big famous actress now doing movies like Jupiter Ascending and all. And, all. Uh, and somebody needs to ask why she's fucking... I, I guess it's like E. It's like some show. I don't know. This must have been in like the 90s or something. This is... This is quite the fun. Outside of that, things look really, really good. There's a vacation planned or something you're going to try to do, or he's going to try to do, but it's around water. It feels like an island. Could be Hawaii. I'm not sure. Where are you going? No, we were going to... Wow. Where are you going? Hawaii. Yeah. In July. Right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. See, I don't know if I believed you, but now I do. So right. I have to say, I'm a believer. Right. You've yeah. changed my opinion. Yeah. It's very cool. Please very welcome cool, cool. Gary Spivey to the oh, show. Oh, now we've got Jerry Springer. All right. I think that is Mila Kunis, dude, because it was on E. It was on, like, the Celebrity Show channel or whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure that actually was her. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. I was not expecting that. I literally made the joke that it looks like Mila Kunis from, like, the five pixels that I could make out on her face and, and like... No, no, I'm pretty sure that actually was her. It also sounded a lot like her, and, like, yeah, that's that's weird. Uh, if you don't know who that is, she was on, like, that 70s show. She also played plays Meg on uh, Family Guy, and uh, she was in Jupiter Ascending, the best movie ever made. But here we go. Uh, Jer Jerry Springer, Gar Gary Spivey on Jerry Springer, the ultimate fucking f crash, f crash orange and spiro purple. <laughs> Duology. It's great. Go ahead. What can you tell me about my dead brother, Ron? Okay. <clears throat> my dead brother, Ron. I, I feel like Ron. he's with you a lot. I think he's with you a lot, especially when you're driving. He tells me. He tells he tells me he loves you, but he's with you when you're driving. I don't know. Do you feel him when you're around him? No. You know? And he says his head's good. Makes sense? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, he got... Uh, he gets that one out of the fucking way real quick because he doesn't want to talk to a dude for too long. Wait, wait, this is a guy from... Uh, 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 his brain... Uh, the oxygen to his brain got cut off. So. Yeah, and, and you said there. what? No, he tells me his head's good. His, head, his brain swelled up and blew up, basically. Yeah, it did. Yeah. On it, on it. What okay. a very like nice way of putting that. This guy's fucking dead brother. He's like, yeah, your your his head swelled up and blew up basically, right? It was like in scanners. It's basically whatever what it else was, you right? think about the show. That's pretty awesome because no one I had no. You got idea a girlfriend coming up to you, so that you're telling the truth. And that's single. Ready? Thank you. Uh, I want to take this opportunity. First of all, Gary, thank you so much. Uh, it was you. great having you with us. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Thank you. And, I, and I, I'll admit, well, you know, when this started, I'm kind of skeptical about this stuff. But when you went into the audience, because that part, I know it had to be true because I had no idea who I was going to go to. And, and if you're here in the audience telling me that what he was telling you was relevant, then uh, you, you're very good at what you do. You're very good. I tell you what, why don't you do the final thought? Oh, Here's okay. Gary Spivey. <laughs> All right, you can it. I think the final thought of the day is that sometimes the truth is more bizarre Wait, what? than what? There's fiction. a fucking poll? What? The final thought There's of the day is dancer? that sometimes... Where, the where, where is this happening? Gary Spivey. <laughs> Where's the pole dancer at? I tell you what, why don't Holy shit, there's a... Well, it is Jerry Springer. Okay. If, if those of you are... Wow. Those of you who are not familiar with Jerry Springer, this is a... This is a perfect encapsulation of the whole show, pretty much. There's a fucking, like, pole dance stripper. There's... There's Gary Spivey, and there's, like... 
You do yeah. the final toy. Oh, this okay. Guy's yeah. That's how you can. That's how you know who's a legitimate, like, psychic. I think the final thought of the day is that sometimes the truth is more bizarre than fiction, but I really do think that there's a lot of spirits, there's a lot of angels around us all the time. While we do have demons, the truth will always set you free. Take care of yourself and each other. All right, well, Gary, Gary, Gary. Uh, yeah, okay. I think, uh, well, should we do part three? Yeah, part three is short. Let's do part three. What's your question? Well, uh, I lost my brother and my father, so... This is like okay. a long, long time ago. All right, and, and this they This has died, to be like early um, 90s when? or something. Look at the sequence. Um, Lost my brother 12 years ago. Okay. My father three years ago to suicide. Wait, wait, hang on. Isn't that the same guy who lost his brother in the last fucking clip? Of suicide? What? Okay. Well, here's the deal. Um, it would be real interesting if I sent him to the light, but however, he's already there, and, he, and I got him. He says, thank you. He, he's crying, but he says it don't hurt no more. He says he feels good, and he says his heart is good, you know. And uh, I swear he shot himself. Shot himself in the heart, yeah, and uh, and he says he loves you more than anything. You see, and see, I channeled his energy right then. Did you guys see me get choked up? I couldn't say anything. I'm crying, and um, see, that's what happens. He's just telling me he loves you, and he he says I come to see you twice, and that two times, and and he knows. He says you know that, right? Yeah, dreams and dreams. He come to see you twice. He goes, tell my boy I love him. I'm fine. Thanks for praying for me. That's the reason I'm not earthbound. Okay. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Now, tell me about, what, do, what who is it? You want to know? my best friend. Um, okay. He, he died about three years ago. Yeah. He goes, <gasps> I can breathe. He says, I can breathe. What happened to him? What's wrong with him? He had, a, he had a breathing. He couldn't breathe. That's he, why he died. He couldn't breathe. That's why he died. He says, tell her I'm good, and he says he's dancing, whatever. And he does like this. The John Travolta thing, you guys think I can't, what? You know, he did, right? Makes sense? He dances, he loves to dance, he, he loves to, music. He loves music, he dances, okay, he's fine. He loves you, he says. He gives you a big kiss, and you felt warm on your face. Isn't that weird? This isn't now you. look at that, now look at that. Now you guys catch this that? It's like the same fucking thing You felt thing warm every on your time. face. That's because that spirit... Your friend John gave you a kiss. That's what you feel. Thank you. you feel a little yeah, warm. Give her a hand. Like a placebo effect. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Good stuff, huh? You guys are great. Good stuff. Oh, who's got who's got some dead people? I just want let me talk to dead people while I'm in the zone. The BJs oh and the dude. JBs. My dad was Jimmy. What the fuck Billy. is wrong with you? Okay, well, here's what I see. He tells me that uh, it it went back. He's good. He says it went back. He's good, but his stomach exploded. He died on the operating table. Right, because of this thing. He says he's good. He loves you more than anything. His stomach and exploded. And he calls his children his young uns. He says young uns. Yeah. Is, he, is he proud of me? Very. He says he loves you. And he says he's all good. Don't worry. He's good. And, oh, he tells me that he approves of this man, too. That's what he... He was trying to get that word in. He approves of this man. That's what he says. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Give her a hand. I have yeah, so I like much this. fun I don't hanging think... out with me. This is a great yeah, I'm sure place you have for so a psychic to live. I laugh at myself. <laughs> I'm sure you laugh at yourself. Yeah, how, like, I, I'm more interested with how you fucking live with yourself. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever really, like, watched a psychic, you know? Like, really fucking watched a psychic and what they do. And this is, uh... Not cool. I am not uh, not not standing this guy. Uh, I, I don't know. I like the look, but goddamn, no, uh, bad, ooh and bad. I am that psychic guy. I am the Q-tip that walks. I am totally nuts. I am scary spider. Yeah. Sure is. Right. Well, that'll about do it for us with Gary Spivey tonight. Uh, thank you.
thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, that concludes the adventure. So, yeah, Gary Spivey. Interesting lad. Uh, most definitely not just in this for the women and money. Um, by no means. I don't know how we anybody could suggest a thing like that. That's crazy. Uh, it's cr just crazy talk. Um, yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, I guess I should take... Hang on. Let's take a look at the Super Chats over here. And, uh... And, uh, get this... Get this show concluded. Um... Gary is the only guy in the world... For $5 from Legend Girl 101 Gary is the only guy in the world who could pick up chicks at an abortion clinic. Oh, no, I, I, I think I've... I think I've seen at least... I think that was an... Wasn't that an episode of fucking Always Sunny? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on Always Sunny. So, I mean, there's at least they can also do it. Ivy Quinn with $5. He's literally a Vegas Elvis and a Westboro preacher all in one. Please vibe check him with your claw. I've, I've been hearing about this vibe check meme. I'm, I'm fond of this. Um, um, uh, thank you. Uh, H.R. H R Hensley. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a better way of pronouncing that. Uh, with 20, 2005. I think I speak for many people when I say we need a sweet, sweet serenade from Deadwing. When you have a chance, can you sing Sugar, We're Going Down? Can't be worse than the Booty Cruise. Um, well, I, I don't know that song, but uh, I, I am going to be doing a music stream in the future, so maybe I'll serenade you then. Um, yeah, Thank you very much. Um, uh, and finally, $5 from Legend Girl, which I can not easily see because YouTube has just decided to cut off the final super chat of the... I don't know. I'm uh, I'm sorry, Legend Girl, but I cannot see your, your final message. I, I, I apologize profusely. Unfortunately, I also can't stream in OBS, in, in Streamlabs OBS, because, like, it has problems. It just gives me problems. Uh, I, I don't know. Um... And, and they actually show the, the Super Chats in Streamlabs OBS. But, uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't like letting me show letting me see that anymore. YouTube is getting to be quite the place to be on, you know? Because, uh, don't know if you're familiar with this, they, like, deleted James Charles or some shit. Forget canceling James Charles. They deleted James Charles. Jesus. And, um, yeah, like, uh, fucking... Medicar got his entire channel demonetized or something because based on a review of his videos and uh, he has no videos on his channel because of a previous time when YouTube decided to just kind of fl flick the shit switch on him and turn the diarrhea dial up to 11. Yeah, Mark, there was the thing with Markiplier. He was streaming and he was uh, he was. I think he asked the people in the chat to like spam emojis apparently so that they would, uh, it was like f to vote on a, th on something and YouTube's automated thing, like fucking banned all of the people in his chat. Well, not all of them, but like uh, a lot of people in his chat got fucking banned off of YouTube because of like a, a mistake because of a bot mistake. And I like I get that YouTube is at this point such a big thing that we can't reasonably expect it to be like monitored completely by people. But there needs to be like a fucking department of checks and balances or something. So the people need to be involved in this process. And at this point if there are, they're not doing their job very well. I know it's a meme to blame Susan. Susan's like a figurehead more than anything. I don't really blame Susan that much. I I blame whatever institution put Susan in place to look like a, a good little diversity hire. Um, no offense to Susan. I'm sure she's a very capable person, but sorry, lady. The reason you run YouTube is so that they can have another notch in their belt uh, and not actually have to do anything. So, And you probably know this, which is really sad. But yeah, uh, I don't really blame Susan that much. I blame the, the YouTube Google machinations, um, which I guess have just... It just sucks, you know, because like I, I saw this video a little while ago from uh, Glink about how the Internet will never be the same. Like the golden era of the Internet was basically is basically over. And he's he, he was right because he, he, he said that like back in the day, if you got fucking banned at one message board, you could just leave and go to a different message board. 
and it was fine. But now it's like it's 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 the lovely 2019 2020 future where all of the websites that you ever go to are run by like three companies. And if you ever get fucked over by the bot that controls these 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 procedures, you're just done for like for for the rest of your life basically. It's insane. Uh but that's I guess the world that we're living in. Let's take a look at the chat here. They're corp they're corporate leaning. Susan did nothing wrong. I think Susan did a few things wrong. I'm not going to absolve Susan completely, but Susan is largely just like a figurehead. I I don't I don't know. Um it's not really Susan's fault. It's uh, Susan just runs YouTube. YouTube is just like Google's bitch. So it's really Google's fault. Uh I miss old YouTube. I miss the old internet, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... Markiplier, Markiplier's fans tried getting human appeals. When someone tried to actually at, ask their Twitter account, they said there is literally nothing they can do written by a real human. Welcome to 2019. Our bot fucked you, and there's no way that we can fix it. Sorry. All right. I am... Uh, I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to wind this down now. Uh, once again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for, for stopping by and uh, listening to me ramble for a little bit. Um, I guess we can do some outro music. Why, why don't we do some outro music? Take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Penis. <laughs>